Hell going on, what's good, what's poppin', what's happening, what's rockin'? It's your boy Nun Stoppin', Hollywood Shack, how y'all doing? Back with another episode, back again with more flavor. Back to give y'all more game, more knowledge to share, more knowledge to gain. You know what I'm saying? We back again with another day to take advantage of the time we have to achieve the goals we want. You feel what I'm saying? And what we gonna talk about today is a bunch of rambling. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how we do when we get to talking, we just start rambling all over the place. But I wanna kick off the conversation with this one quote and be just gonna build up off that shit right there. The quote says, don't take advice from someone you wouldn't switch places with in life. I'm gonna say that shit one more time. We're gonna throw this shit up on the screen so you can see it and read it and hear it at the same time. Don't take advice from people you would not change places in life with. And that might sound like, well, duh, but it's deeper than a lot of y'all probably be thinking about right now. It's deeper than a lot of y'all be thinking, probably thinking right now. Cause y'all don't know that a lot of y'all, that's y'all problem right now without even realizing it. You share your dreams, your 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 goals, what you learning, what you trying to become, what you want to be, you know, what you want to do. You you sharing all this with the your peers and the people that's around you, and the the rebuttal and the feedback that you give it that you receiving is not really making you think that it's possible. Like you you hearing. Your peers and them, they just like, oh yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, that was up, you know. Oh man, all right, cool. Oh shit, yeah, 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 that sound good, you know what I'm saying. That's all you hearing. So it's like, okay, but where is that? Where is that? Oh yeah, that's the one. You know what I'm saying. Where, where is that? What I think you should probably incorporate. You know what I'm saying. Where's that, that, that feedback that you're looking for? You can't find it in the people that's not doing the same type of work you're doing to get to the same type of level you're trying to reach. You only can find that in people that probably already experienced it or going through it. So you can actually find a way to see if what you're doing or the track you're on doesn't just seem so unusual. Because a lot of people can give you an opinion on some shit they never ever thought about or dreamed about doing. They'll be so quick to tell you like man, ain't no way here. Uh, uh, yo, that T-shirt gonna make a million dollars. Like, come on, bro. Like a million dollars, bro. You know how much a million dollars is? Like you, you hearing that shit with people that never even seen ten thousand dollars. So in in a sense, it's gonna start playing with your creativity and your mindset. Like, is this shit even really worth taking so serious? Because nobody around me has ever even reached this point before. And it's not seeming so realistic. This is why it's important to get all your information from you yourself first. Because a strong mind that's developed with the right knowledge will already know that the people that don't know have the shit they know, it's not even worth listening to. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's so important to get to that point where you just so isolated. Like isolation has to happen when it comes to get ready to start something new. Cause you gotta give that new shit a real, real, real push in your mind to make your mind feel like it's something worth continuing to learn or continuing to do. Like you have to program this shit and you can't program new habits while still pending and playing around with bad habit type of situations. And it might not seem like bad habit situations into the long run when you see that the, the objective or the goal you setting that you're trying to reach is taking so long to achieve the small shit because the small shit that you're supposed to be putting your time into about your business is being spent with the bad shit that's holding you back. You know what I'm saying? The regular shit that you're trying to escape but you keep going around. The shit that feels comfortable to you, that's the shit that you want to go to. 
You know what I'm saying? Like comfort is the thing that really help hold back a lot of people from really being successful. Because in order to get successful, you got to go through an uncomfort phase. And that shit going to seem so weird because you don't know how to handle it. But knowledge is going to be your only guidance through that. And if you fail to research and gain knowledge in your hardest points or your hardest times, that's when you fail the most. Because you be looking for the answer money wise when the money really made by the man so if the man got all the knowledge the man know how to make the money regardless of the situation that's coming in front of him but the thing about it is when you doing this shit, it starts with you because you got to isolate so you can be knowledgeable enough to know how to handle whatever obstacle comes your way because the thing about it you think life hard on a personal level business issues hit you harder than any personal level could ever hit you you probably be right now dealing with a motherfucking light bill you can't pay. Imagine the manufacturer running off on $7,000 with you. That's not no light bill. You know what I'm saying? Ima imagine that goddamn UPS lose your goddamn bulk order, supposedly, and the damn workers that ran through it around Black Friday time and then took every goddamn inventory item that you got in there because they see that it's a heavy item, so it got to be worth some goddamn money. Now you done just sat down lost nine, ten thousand dollars dealing with UPS and shit. You gotta know how to handle situations like that. How can I bounce back from that? Or you done invested all your money into a bulk order, then do your marketing right on the other end, and now you just got all this inventory sent with nobody to give it out to. That's real business situations that you got to worry about. How can I handle? How can I weave up out of these situations? You ain't got time to play when it comes to business. So don't be trying to come over here with the personal shit. That's why you gotta equip your mind first so you know how to handle this shit because in business if you try to handle this shit personally you're going to fail a lot because you're going to put your feelings in the place of business and once you do that business start to tremble now you're starting to fuck up all your business opportunities and it's because of you and another thing is ego we have to we have to fix ego like ego is our biggest killer just feeling like because we doing it is supposed to automatically be supported or if we started it can't nobody tell us nothing else from that point forward or or if it's our brand or if it's our business I don't need nobody else telling me what needs to be done that ego shit is gonna kill you because you're not gonna be able to listen to when your audience or your 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 supporters are trying to tell you what they really want from you and you just sitting here going here here and here looking for other shit that's not even what your audience give a fuck about to please them because you seeing shit that's trending and you feel like oh that's trending watch what i can do in this trend so now you so quick to run over here and duplicate this product that you see trending in the best way that you can to give out to an audience not understanding marketing not understanding the audience not understanding anything that your business is building and now you the fucked up giving them a product that they don't even know or want from you that's not your identity so why are you trying to give it to us that's why it's ego is just so important so you got to know when it's time to move off a product and when it's time to keep a product moving because in, in business and I don't know why we do this so much in the beginning stage we be so quick to just go from product to product to product and it's like yo what the fuck we need all these products for and we ain't even mastered how to sell one that's the stupidest shit in the world to me and it's from a learning experience because i was that guy switching different products over and over again not realizing that if this one product in the beginning was able to give me 30 40 50 thousand dollars why not keep trying to find an audience for this goddamn product? It's obviously working. Continue to move it. But that only comes from learning, research, and knowledge. Understanding how when you got a product that's at a high demand, keep pushing that high demand product. You feel what I'm saying? But you got to move it smart on the marketing side with a low supply whenever you drop it. So it can continue being a talked about and must have product. Then you start to uh, use it for different colors and shit. Now you understanding how to utilize business. Now you understanding how to utilize marketing strategies. Then you learning how to 
get out your own way thinking that you can handle your business your own self. Now you're learning how to outsource to different type of people to handle different type of things for your brands. You going over here, you find somebody to handle your emails because you know for a damn sure you cannot handle customer service. Get out your own way, step back. Now you over here looking for your main focus point design. Like, I want you to handle everything designing for me because you know damn well, yeah, you know how to make your own simple design, but you don't know how to get as creative if you really want to be. You're not that detailed. Find somebody to do it. Take that stress away from you. Outsource it, okay? And the thing about outsource you got to stop thinking about is, is from a standpoint of, I got to pay them this money. Stop looking at it like, oh my God, I got to give them this. I got to give them this. I got to give them this. Stop looking at it like that and look at it like, okay, if I give them this, this is going to bring back this. If I if I pay them this right here, this going to bring back this. This going to handle this over here, so I ain't got to worry about touching that. You got to get ego out the way because ego is going to not let you put people in position to help you better your business. Feelings. Get them gone because that shit going to be in the way of helping you letting people step in to help better your business. You feel what I'm saying? You got to be able to step back to appoint people in roles that you probably would never let nobody handle before. Y'all know I don't handle anything on my fucking YouTube. Nothing. I just sit here and just record. I'm, I'm just sitting here talking. That's all I do. I don't handle nothing else. I outsourced it because I know for a fact I can handle that. You know what I'm saying? You got to be willing to step back and give people the goddamn the floor when it's time to handle shit for you on the business level. And you're going to know when the person is right because you didn't handle your part in business to understand when somebody else is just as serious about their business. So you're not out here looking for put the team, you know, put put the gang on, you know what I'm saying? Put put your fam on. You ain't out here trying to do that because you're not trying to sit back and waste your fucking time with some shit that you're trying to build that's going to potentially help you because you're thinking for you. 10, 12, 13, 15 years down the line. You trying to make this business go up. You ain't trying to get to the point where you just refresh yourself and your goddamn mind to the point where you can clearly see shit for what it is and then reach back and then goddamn put people in position and then motherfuckers just square one all over again. You're not trying to do that. So now that you understand what it looks like for you, you're gonna know what to look at in other people and how to appoint other people for roles in your business. And it all boils back down to the beginning statement. Don't take advice for someone that you wouldn't switch positions with in life. Don't do it. Because what are they gonna tell you? They opinion? You know what I'm saying? And, and 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 then with that being said, bro, when it comes to not having nobody to even discuss it with, just go to social media. That's what content come in at. Like when you get to the point where you researching so much, you learning so much new knowledge, you just want to share it with the people to let people know that you, you know what I'm saying, starting to turn a new chapter and and, and, and you know, I mean, turn over a new leaf and start a new chapter in your life and whatever the case may be, just go to social media and share it. People want to hear it. People want to be a part of the story. They going to want to see the journey to see if it's just a phase you're going through or if you're really going to stick through it and come become somebody new in the next however long it take you. Shit. And it's going to be a great feeling for you because you're going to get so lost in learning and researching and, and, and doing you that you're not even going to notice your growth until you look back like, damn, I remember... I was at this number and now here I am, we at this number now. I remember when my drops was doing this number, now I look up, we doing this numbers. But you're not paying attention to the actual number growth when you working for real. The people that sit up and complain about not getting enough sales, not getting enough this and that, I know for a fact you ain't working for real. Because when you really working and locking in on what you're doing, you don't see your growth. If you can see your growth, you're not really growing. Why are you sitting there just watching yourself grow? You're supposed to be working so the growth can just happen automatically. So stop thinking that it's going to get fixed by you doing nothing. It's not. And you know for a fact that you're sitting around doing nothing. Motherfuckers DM me all that all day and night. Hey, bro. How can I get better at marketing? Hey, bro. How, how can I get more sales, bro? I, I dropped last week and ain't nobody come by. Bro, you know exactly why nobody come by. 
you know exactly why you ain't getting no sales. Stop asking me crazy ass questions and put the work in. You sitting around right now, if I was to say, let me FaceTime me real quick, I bet if you was to call me, I'd the DM and be asking me that question, you would probably sit around doing nothing. Nothing. Probably in the room with the light off, with your phone in your hand, not doing no work, not practicing how to get better at content, not purchasing no tripod, ain't even got a tripod. Phone camera be dirty when you record, you don't give a damn about it. You don't even turn on the lights in the house when you're showing your products. You don't give a damn about the product. You ain't putting no time into perfecting the product. You don't know nothing about no GSM. You don't know nothing about no, no cotton clothes. You don't know nothing about no fabric. You don't know anything about getting any type of good product out to a customer. You don't know how to, how to keep a customer. You don't know what system to put in place to keep the customer coming back. You don't know how to set up no proper uh, customer support team. You ain't took no time to do no research, nothing. It's a lot of shit that you ain't did yet. So when you ask me why you ain't getting no sales, you don't want me to run through the whole fucking list on why you ain't getting no sales. Because it's going to make you feel like, what the hell am I doing with my damn time? Wasting mine for sure. That's what you're doing. Then me asking me for help. But uh, yeah, man, I feel like it was a nice little quick little spiel. I like these little quick hitters, you know what I'm saying? Straight to the point. Go ahead and get y'all a little motivation, some shit, you know what I'm saying? Tune in, listen to while you're at the gym type shit, on your way to work, uh, on the way to the warehouse, wherever the hell you may be going, just, you know, turn this clip on, send it to a friend, share it with anybody else like that. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment. We all, we on the road to 100K, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no 20K, ain't no 30K. We on the road to 100K, 100K. That's it, you know what I'm saying? So, appreciate y'all for tuning in. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Uh, click that link in the bio, go get the ebook, go jump in my sportsman chat, and make sure y'all subscribe to Hollywood Hideout brand for all our latest and upcoming drops. Hollywood out.